Hi, for those of you just joining, um, I'll be starting in just a couple of minutes. We'll just wait for a few people to uh, join on. Should be uh, soon. Thanks for joining. We'll be starting soon. We'll be we'll be getting our we'll be getting started shortly. If you're just joining, just wait for a couple of people more to show up. I see the numbers uh, on here, so it's good. Okay, just give it another minute or so and we'll be good to go. <clears throat> okay, so so my name is Mark Belaish. I'm uh, president of torontojobs.ca. I started doing these uh, webinars on uh, Monday and um, since then uh, just been going regularly every day at 12 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, I'm going to continue uh, to do that every weekday uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, I think uh, people need help. Uh, there, obviously, there's a lot of things going on in the world right now, and we'll talk about those uh, those um, uh, items as well. Um, I've been, if you're just joining for the first time for these webinars, uh, I've been in the recruiting business for uh, 25 years now. Uh, this is my 25 25th year, which is probably the most interesting of all the years. Um, and uh, really help, have helped out companies on all different uh, areas, um, everything from uh, uh, accounting to admin, sales, and so on. So um, we started, like I said, started this uh, Facebook Live uh, Monday, and this is the uh, third time. So uh, feel free to share. Uh, just write down a comment if you have any ideas for things you want to hear about, other webinars, and so on. Uh, happy to talk about all kinds of topics. Uh, have experience in, in all different areas, whether it's resumes, uh, interviewing, uh, and so on. Um, on Monday, I talked about, if, if you want to check out our, our Toronto Jobs uh, Facebook Live page, uh, I talked about things that you should do if you've uh, been laid off. Uh, yesterday, I gave you uh, tips on video interviews, interviews, and then uh, today, um, today, I'm going to be talking about uh, more uh, resume tips and things that you should do. You know, I've been getting the question just overall, well, you know, are companies hiring right now? Um, and I can tell you, you know, there's always companies hiring, even in bad times. There's uh, companies that are uh, obviously letting people go, of course, but, um, uh, you know, there's uh, there's always companies that are hiring. Uh, Amazon, Walmart are, are examples of one that have announced big uh, hiring. And if you think, you might say, well, you know, it's just retail. I don't really want to do retail. You know, they're going to need, um, people in all different areas, whether it's accounting, uh, customer service, uh, management, etc. So keep that in mind. Like, don't just think that it's just retail jobs for now. Um, I also just want to uh, uh, point out that Alex uh, is also on uh, this um, string he posted as well, that he's going to be answering some questions as well. If, if you uh, miss something, if you want to know something specific, uh, if you ca didn't catch it or whatever, if you want my email address, he'll, he'll post it in there as well. So he's my, uh, he's my eyes and ears also. So thanks, Alex, for, uh, for being there. So, so today's topic, I'm going to run this for about 15 minutes or so until about 12.15, 12.20. Today's topic is just resume tips. So I'm going to run through about 20 tips that I have for you for, for your resume, things that you should be aware of, things that you should know when, before you're sending it out or if you're updating your resume. Um, first one is, uh, you know, two pages with one inch margins uh, on the top, uh, bottom and, and sides. Uh, sometimes I get resumes that are, uh, you know, three pages and I say, you know what, kind of down to two pages. And, and what they do is they send me back a resume that's, uh, uh, that's two pages, but the font is about eight point font, uh, and it's really hard. And they, they do these really narrow um, margins. So um, so try to condense it. Two pages. Uh, number two point is twelve point font, not like eight point or seven point or whatever. And um, uh, uh, two pages, uh, twelve point font, uh, and and the margin on each side. Um, number three, and if you're just joining, my name is Mark Blaish. I'm president of TorontoJobs.ca. I'm just going through some resume tips that you should do if you're updating, you're in the process of updating your resume. Number three is um, don't keep changing your resume. Um, I, I hear, I get resumes from people all the time, and they say to me, 
uh, Mark, you know, I, I keep changing my resume. I'm not getting the re I'm not getting calls. I'm not getting recruiters calling me. Um, I'm going to change it. I'm going to revamp it. Or somebody told me to do this or, or, or change it. Um, I can tell you that if you give your resume to, to 10 different people, you probably get there to, uh, 10 people in the recruiting industry, uh, whether they're recruiters or coaches or, or counselors, uh, you'll probably get 10, 10 different responses. So go with one resume, go with one style that you're happy with. And, um, uh, you know, don't keep changing it just because you think people aren't reviewing it, just because you think you're not getting the call. It, it probably doesn't have anything to do with your resume. It's probably, it probably has more to do with um, your skills, your background, the kinds of roles that you're applying to, maybe you're not a, the right match for it. Uh, number four, um, you know, in terms of the, the font, use Arials or Times New Roman. Those are the most common um, uh, fonts. Number five, if you're in design, I would expect, um, if you're a marketing type person, if you're in design, I would expect more of a, a creative type format for your resume. Uh, number six, you don't need to put any information about your age, sex, religion, uh, number of kids, uh, your date of birth, anything like that. That's uh, personal information and, and, and nobody needs to know that information. Number seven, put hobbies there uh, at the bottom. You know, it tells a little bit about yourself, a little bit more outside of the box of, of your just your skills. It's not necessary, but it's kind of a nice uh, to have. Uh, number eight, um, just make sure that when, you, when you've got your resume, you spend a lot of time doing your resume. So when you do your resume, uh, copy and paste those, those specific sections into your LinkedIn profile. So make sure that your LinkedIn profile is consistent with um, that it's consistent with your resume. Uh, sometimes I go into somebody's profile on LinkedIn and I see discrepancies between their resume and, like for example, the dates or their titles. Um, so just make sure they're they're matching 100% uh, aligned. Um, you should just be able to copy and paste it. Uh, number nine is uh, put your city in there. Uh, talk about, um, t put your city on top, put your city where you have your name, put, put where you live. Um, now I get, I get a lot of pushback. I mean, years ago it used to be people would put their address, their actual physical address. And, and over time people stopped doing that and, and just put their city in. And now I find re that resumes just don't even have a city. They just have a name and phone number. Um, and when I suggest like putting in at least a city in there, uh, I get a lot of pushback from people. Well, I don't want to be, um, you know, con not considered for a certain role. So say I live in Mississauga, I don't want to be not considered for a role in Toronto or whatever. Um, do yourself a favor. Um, take it from me. I've been doing this a long time. At least put a city in there. Um, if you don't put a city in there, I don't know if you're in, living in Hamilton. I don't know if you're living in Oshawa. I don't, I don't, I have no idea where you're living. So put something in. If you're willing to relocate, that's fine. If you're living in Stouffville, for example, and you're willing to relocate to Toronto, put something like that in there or, or you know, currently uh, in the process of relocating to Toronto or whatever the case may be. Um, number 10, um, uh, this is uh, resume tips in case you're just joining. Uh, number 10 is think of keywords. So what a recruiter will search on. What, would, what will the keywords be that somebody will, uh, sitting like me, I'm looking to fill a role, what am I going to, um, what am I going to put in there? What am I going to search on? What are the keywords? Um, and don't worry about organizational or Excel or, or you know, anything like that. Um, put in the words that are specific to your industry, perhaps your skill set, uh, whatever it is. You, you, there's certain ones, perhaps that you, you get ideas from looking at other job postings and realizing that, uh, you know, hey, there's this keyword that I'm not picking up because I will search as a recruiter. I will search on, on keywords that way. Uh, number 11, think of alternative words. So I'll give you an example. Um, uh, say I have, a, say a Coke is one of my clients. Um, uh, and, or, or say Pepsi is a, a one of my clients and I want to look for people that are working at, at Coca-Cola uh, or Coke. Um, I would search on perhaps Coke. I would search on perhaps Coca-Cola. I would perhaps search on uh, bottled beverages. I would search on maybe the beverage industry. So think about those uh, words and make sure that they're in your resume because you'll never know what a recruiter might search on and that might be one of them that uh, one of those uh, words or terms that might be a, of, uh, of uh, importance. So similarly MBA, uh, one uh, you might have in your resume m.b.a. but a recruiter might search just MBA and your perhaps your resume doesn't search uh, show up on that search. So just make sure you have them on both. 
Um, number 11, get your resume posted on job boards. Um, let technology work for you. Let the recruiters find you. Uh, let the sign up for job mail so that you know um, when jobs are coming up and, and that, would be, um, that would be advantageous for you. Number uh, 13, if you're just joining, uh, I'm going through uh, top resume tips. Uh, number 13, responsibilities and accomplishments. Make sure that, that they're in there. Uh, sometimes I suggest put you know, company name, your title, uh, what responsibilities you had, list those down, and then your accomplishments, list those down as well. Uh, 14, don't oversell yourself. If, if you're an accountant, um, you know, say you're an accountant, don't say you're managing the department. Um, I see some resumes come through that, um, you know, people are, are paid a certain level that doesn't make sense that of what the responsibilities were in a certain size company. Um, and I find that sometimes I just have to find uh, what what is true, what is not true on resumes, and and uh, that makes it tough. So uh, the moment I see something that doesn't look right, uh, I I usually just um, I usually just uh, just go on to the next candidate. So uh, number fifteen, just a few more here, and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, fifteen, use the titles that references will confirm. So make sure that your references are in line and they know what you're what you're putting out there. Maybe send them a copy of your resume so they know what you're putting out there. Um, you don't want them saying, yeah, you know what, Joe was an accountant and then you put on your resume senior accountant or whatever. So just make sure it's consistent. Your references will confirm what, what you have. Um, generally, you don't need references, but if you go to an interview, you should have references uh, on there um, uh, as part of your uh, paper that you hand in with your interview, uh, assuming that there are interviews, uh, not uh, just by a video interview, of course, in this day and age. Um, but you, um, you, you generally don't need references. Just put at the bottom of your of your uh, resume that references is available on request. Um, number seventeen. There's lots of resume templates available, obviously on the internet. Pick one and pick a style that you like that you think uh, suits your personality's pr profile and so on. Um, but I wouldn't go overboard. There's lots of them that that you can use. Uh, number eighteen. Use your job description for your resume if you have a job description from your last job. Um, check it out and uh, maybe use that as your as your basis for your resume. Um, number 19, make it simple and easy to understand, your resume that is. Uh, 20 is check your spelling and grammar. Um, a lot of times I, I've spoken, I speak with a lot of recruiters that I know and um, some of them are very, very hard-nosed and that if they see one spelling or grammatical mistake, they just toss it. So you don't want to be in that pile where you're just, your resume just got tossed because you had a spelling and grammatical mistake. And number 21, use, um, use bullet points. Um, you know, make it easy for the reader to understand. Don't use like lots of sentences and long sentences. Uh, resumes or recruiters like to skim through resumes and, and just find the, find the points right off the bat. So try to, try to do it that way. So, um, so those are my uh, quick uh, 21 points of, on the resume. Uh, I will be coming up with a topic tomorrow, uh, same time, same place. Um, uh, again, if you're just joining, I, I do have just some, some more words here about how we can help you. Um, but uh, my name is Mark Belage. I'm president of torontojobs.ca. We're doing this Facebook Live uh, each day at 12 o'clock, each weekday at 12 o'clock uh, Eastern time. Um, so how Toronto Jobs can help you, uh, if you want, feel free to send us your resume. Resume is at torontojobs.ca. I'll give you also my email address, which is uh, mark.belage at torontojobs.ca. you see my name. I believe in the top right hand corner. So just first name dot last name at torontojobs.ca. Uh, visit our site at torontojobs.ca. You can post your resume, search and apply to positions. Um, join all our social media. We post everything uh, on our social media. We're on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, at 12.30 uh, today in 15 minutes, I'll be uh, uh, getting on to um, I'll be getting on to our uh, Instagram page, so you can hear if you if you miss something or if you want to ask a question, you can uh, certainly do. Uh, you can certainly help out with that as well. So, uh, I see Alex just posted resumes at TorontoJobs.ca. Uh, Amaya, you have a question about um, uh, is it okay to make the keywords bold? Um, yeah, I mean you can. As the main thing, as long as they're on there, so that they'll get picked up on the on the uh um they'll get picked up when when recruiters search for it so whether it's bold or not like i don't really care too too much i care more about the substance of the resume rather than the form um so this we're other things other ways that toronto's office can help you uh uh we'll be back every day at 12 o'clock here on facebook live as i mentioned at 12 30 uh instagram live 
Um, we do provide outplacement services as well to companies. And what, what outplacement services are, because it may be a term that you're not familiar with, outplacement services are um, uh, services that are meant to help you uh, if you're an employee and you're in the process of being laid off or, or restructured downsized uh, to help you find a find a job so that could be something like uh, myself helping you uh, with your resume uh, sitting down one-on-one -on -one, uh, giving you specific tips for your own uh, personal uh, side so so the point being is that if you are about to get get laid off make sure ask your employer for them to include outplacement services as part of your termination package. And uh, if you if they're not sure, if you're not sure, have them call me, I can call them, I can explain. It's not that expensive for them to use and um, and uh, it's a it's a very it's a very valuable for you. Um, in terms of uh, my book as well, um, ways we can help you out. Um, this is a book I wrote called Tales from the Recruiter. And um, it, uh, it's been out for a few years, but it has some really good tips on uh, how you can find a job. It's meant for pretty much anybody, any level, uh, any background. And um, what I'm, I'm going to give away a couple copies of this, and I'll tell you how to do that, how to win that in a second as well. Um, but uh, this can be found on talesfromtherecruiter.ca. Uh, it's got uh, some great tips and, and so on. So, so check it out, talesfromtherecruiter.ca. Uh, it's 20 bucks uh, shipping to anywhere in Canada. So uh, that includes taxes and shipping costs. Um, if you're interested in getting a one-on-one, -on -one, uh, one-on-one -on -one hour coaching session um, uh, with uh, one of the recruiters, it's done virtually like this, uh, or a one-on-one -on -one resume review, going through your resume, uh, check out talesfromtherecruiter.ca. Um, if you're thinking about starting up a business, um, or you're, uh, you have a business, you want to grow it, uh, we have our sister company called torontoentrepreneurs.ca, and we'll be doing a webinar at 2 o'clock on Facebook Live on the torontoentrepreneurs.ca platform uh, that will give you some tips about how to grow your business and run your business. So that might be helpful for you. Um, and um, we do have some uh, jobs that we're looking to fill. In fact, uh, we do have a, a financial, if you're interested in a, a career in financial services as a financial advisor, we have a client who is interested in, in meeting people. Uh, they are looking for people right now. They are looking uh, through the course of this month. Uh, notwithstanding what's going on, they are still hiring. Uh, it is a, a commission only self-employed type role. But if you are interested in hearing more about that, just send me a, an email. Again, my email is mark.belage at torontojobs.ca. If you scroll through the comments here, you'll see that. Um, and uh, as I mentioned, uh, I'm going to flip uh, today in uh, about 10, 15 minutes to Instagram Live on our, on our torontojobs.ca Facebook page. So you can uh, check that out. And at uh, 2 o'clock on our Facebook, torontojobs.ca. Uh, or at torontoentrepreneurs.ca. So just in conclusion, uh, get your resume update updated, um, even if this has just happened to you in terms of being laid off. Um, it's never too early to start applying to jobs. There are companies that are hiring. Uh, get a re get out, get do some exercise. Um, you know, don't just uh, stay at home. It's okay to go outside. You can actually get some exercise out there. Uh, send me your resume, check out torontojobs.ca. If you wanna connect with me on LinkedIn as well, I'm there. Uh, happy to connect that way. And then uh, if you want to call me, if you want to chat, uh, I'll give you my phone number. It's 905-812-5627. In fact, I'll just type it on here. So you have it. 905-812-5627, uh, extension 2873 is my work. And my uh, you can text me as well, 289-206-1651, text. All right, so you can, um, you can contact me at any time. Uh, and uh, I want to thank the team, uh, Rachel and Alex. I want to thank our healthcare workers, and I want to tell you how you can win a copy of this book as well. So, first couple of people who email me their resume and uh, their address, I'll make sure that uh, your book uh, goes out uh, to you within the next uh, few days. Um, so, again, first two people that email me with your address uh, to the email address that's on there. I'll just put it in here again, and uh, I'll uh, I'll get one mailed out. And uh, see you at 12.30 on Instagram if you want, on torontojobs.ca if you want a repeat of this one, uh, if you missed it or you're just catching up, uh, and at 2 o'clock on the Toronto Entrepreneurs uh, one as well. And uh, wish, you well, wish you well, stay safe, uh, thanks for the healthcare workers for doing what they're doing, and uh, be safe and, and uh, see you tomorrow at uh, 12 o'clock on this, uh, on this uh, social media platform.
Take care. Have a great afternoon. Thank you.